86 journalists killed, 887 arrested, 67 abducted, and this simply over the year 2007. In some countries, a journalist can spend several years in jail for a word or a picture. This is why, with the Lorenzo Natalie Prize, the European Union, which supplies 60% of the development aid in the world, is also involved in the field of ideas by supporting journalists committed to the development of democracy and human rights. The 2007 prize jury was chaired by Femi Oke, a journalist from CNN. I'm a correspondent at CNN. I was very honored to be asked to be the honorary chair, which basically means I have to marshal all of the discussion. We spent a day looking at 50 entries from many different regions. I'm really pleased to say that this one, which is one of my favorites, actually won, won the Grand Jury Prize. From village protest to national flashpoint, it's about a tiny little village that's just south of Guangzhou in China. It experimented with democracy. They found out that their village head was embezzling village funds, so they got together, put together a campaign, and tried to get him booted out of office. It's a story about human rights. It was a story about the little people standing up to the authorities. I loved it. The jury rewarded a Malaysian journalist, Le Siu Ying, out of over 1,500 applicants from 160 countries for this article in which she relates the story of villagers who fought against their corrupt leader. Winning this prize is not so much for me, uh, it's also for people you know, who uh, are trying to defend their rights in China. But for me personally, I think uh, it, 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 is, it shows me that if I'm persistent, you know, if I keep on doing my work, I will be able to get to write a good story. And um, it shows that persistence, you know, when you are a reporter, it does pay. That's very important for me. To support journalism and development in the world, the European Commission, Reporters Without Borders and the World Association of Newspapers have willingly associated themselves to the 2008 Lorenzo Natalie Prize.